I was asked to build a tape loop instrument, so I came up with loop. I started off with this old dataset style tape player because I knew that I wanted to use regular audio cassette tape and when I stripped it back this just had a really good look about it. I had to make sure the instrument was going to be sturdy and portable because there's a really good chance that it was going to be played live and go off on tour so I ended up making it out of plywood. Inspired by Basinski's disintegration loops, I wanted to use a rotating disc with magnets inside it, which in theory I thought could potentially disintegrate or erase the tape over time if I made it in such a way that the tape would pass close to the magnets on its loop path. That same disc could also be used to create a clock to send out to synthesizers by using the magnets to periodically open and close reed switches. That's a tried and tested technique that I've used on a turntable sequencer and a harmonograph synthesizer. It's quite a simple idea but it can be used effectively in various ways to generate impulses from motion. Then I thought that this could also act as a transmission to drive something else and I had this idea to create a kind of shifting phase pattern generator. If there were two near identical follower gears, but with a small difference in diameter, then they would slowly drift in and out of sync with each other, which patched in various ways could create unusual musical events and textures. Using two eccentric cams to push micro switches on and off, the machine generates two gates that go from being completely synchronised, then drift through different phases before coming back into sync. The thinking behind this was that you could create shifting cannons, kind of in the style of Steve Reich, or just unshackle yourself from the musical grid. The speed of the driver gear is variable right down to LFO rates. I made a reverse switch for the tape transport, though it's a bit rubbish as there's no spool taking up the tension of the tape, so it kind of goes a bit wonky, but maybe that's a good thing. Each tape loop uses 600 millimetres of tape and lasts about 12 seconds. The tape dummy has a curve running through it to allow the tape to accurately pass over the playhead and run smoothly, but the real benefit is that you can change loops quickly, though to be fair with it being tape it's still really fiddly. So there you go, that's loop. And who knows, maybe you'll see it live in a venue near you soon. <laughs>